Hi friends, my name is Jessica Hockenberry and today I will be presenting you with one of our read alouds. This book is going to be called Oxcart Man by Donald Hall with the pictures by Barbara Cooney. And if we look at the front cover, I want you guys to take a look at all the pictures that are here and tell me what you think the book is going to be about. Okay, let's get started. In October, he backed his ox into a cart, and he and his family filled it up with everything they made or grew all year long that was left over. He packed a bag of wool he sheared from the sheep in April. He packed a shawl his wife wove on a loom from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep sheared in April. He packed five pairs of mittens his daughter knit from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep sheared in April. And there's a word in there that I want you guys to try to remember. Can you remember the word spinning wheel? What do you think that means? Keep it in mind and tell an adult if you have one by you. Let's keep going. He packed candles the family made. He packed linen made from flax they grew. He packed shingles he split himself. He packed birch brooms his son carved with a borrowed kitchen knife. He packed potatoes they dug from their garden, but first he counted out potatoes enough to eat all winter and potatoes for seed next spring. He packed a barrel of apples, honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbages, a wooden box of maple sugar from the maples they tapped in March when they boiled and boiled and boiled the sap away. He packed a bag of goose feathers that his children collected from the barnyard geese. And look at our picture. All these things that I'm talking about, they're all in the picture. Here's our apples, here's our geese, here's our cabbages, our turnips, our brooms. We can use the pictures in a book to tell us a lot about the things that we're reading. When his cart was full, he waved goodbye to his wife, his daughter, and his son, and he walked at his ox's head 10 days, over hills, through valleys, by streams, past farms and villages. Where do you think he could be going? He's walking for an awful long time. Until he came to Portsmouth and Portsmouth Market. He sold the bag of wool. He sold the shawl his wife made. He sold five pairs of mittens. He sold candles and shingles. He sold birch brooms. He sold potatoes. He sold apples. He sold honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbages. He sold maple sugar. He sold a bag of goose feathers. What does the word to sell mean? He's selling a lot of things in this picture, but what does that word mean? Can you tell someone around you? Then he sold the wooden box he carried the maple sugar in. Then he sold the barrel he carried the apples in. Then he sold the bag he carried the potatoes in. Then he sold his ox cart. Then he sold his ox and kissed him goodbye on his nose. Can you think of a time when you had to say goodbye to a pet? Were you sad? Were you happy? Whether it was your pet or it was someone else's, how did you feel when you had to tell them goodbye? And how do you think our ox cart man feels when he has to tell his ox goodbye? Can you tell someone around you? Then he sold his ox's yoke and harness. With his pockets full of coins, he walked through Portsmouth Market. He bought an iron kettle to hang over the fire at home. And for his daughter, he bought an embroidery needle that came from a boat in the harbor that had sailed all the way from England. For his son, he bought a barlow knife for carving birch brooms with. And for the whole family, he bought two pounds of wintergreen peppermint candies. Then he walked home 
with the needle and the knife and the wintergreen peppermint candies tucked into the kettle and a stick over his shoulder stuck through the kettle's handle and coins still in his pocket. Past farms and villages, over hills, through valleys, by streams. That has to be a really long trip for him. He's all by himself. He doesn't have his ox. He doesn't have his ox cart. It's just him, and he had to be really lonely until he came to his farm where his son, his daughter, and his wife were all waiting for him. And his daughter took her needle and began stitching. And his son took his barlow knife and started whittling. And they cooked dinner in their new kettle. And afterwards, everyone ate a wintergreen peppermint candy. And that night, the ox cart man sat in front of his fire, stitching new harness for the young ox in the barn. And he carved a new yoke and sawed planks for a new cart. And he split shingles all winter. While his wife made flax into linen all winter, and his daughter embroidered linen all winter, and his son carved Indian brooms from birch all winter, and everybody made candles. There's our word, our spinning wheel. This is it. If we look in our picture, it's this thing right here. This is our spinning wheel. In March, they tapped the sugar maple trees and boiled the sap down. And in April, they sheared the sheep, spun yarn, and wove and knitted. Shearing sheep, that's a funny word. Can we figure out what it means? If we look at the picture, the sheep are going from fluffy sheep to not fluffy sheep. So shearing must mean that they take off their fur. And in May, they planted potatoes, turnips, and cabbages, while apple blossoms bloomed and fell, while bees woke up, starting to make new honey. And geese squawked in the barnyard, dropping feathers as soft as clouds. The end, and that's the end of our story. Now that we're finished, I have some activities for you guys to do. You can choose one or the other, or you can do both of them. It's completely up to you. The first activity that we're going to talk about, you're probably going to need an adult for this. So either your parent or your guardian. I want you to think of a place that you go, whether that's to the grocery store or whether that's just down the sidewalk. I want you to walk to that place. Make sure it's not too long of a walk and make sure you're with an adult. But if you walk there, can you time yourself? Can you time how long it takes you to go from one place to another? Just like our ox cart man did. It took him 10 days to walk from his house to the market. Now, I don't expect you to walk for 10 days. That's crazy. But if we can walk a short distance and then think about would it be faster if you took another way to walk there? Or sorry, it would be faster if you went another way. Like if you walked from your house to a friend's house or if you drove in a car from your house to a friend's house, would that be faster? You can write down the times if, you, if your adult wants to help you with that or you can just think about it on your own. Our second activity, I want you to make your own store. Our ox cart man went to the market to sell all of his goods so that he could buy more goods. So I want you to see what you can find and make your own pretend store. It could be things inside your house, it can be things outside your house, but remember to be safe and take an adult with you if you go outside. But I want you to buy and sell and you can have your friends with you or siblings or parents or guardians. And I want you to use your imagination and play with this and see if you can be a buyer and a seller just like our ox cart man was. That is it for our read aloud today. Thank you for being an awesome audience and I can't wait to see you again. Bye for now.